All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where gaming meets zero expectations. We are in SnowRunner today, and if you watched the last episode, which hopefully you did, uh, we are in a little bit of a pickle. That's a that's a little weird kind of glitch there when I rotate over the camera. Anyways, uh, I don't want to get too distracted, but we have to uh, first of all start the engine, take the parking brake off, and turn this thing around. Uh, so we are kind of in a pickle trying to deliver these uh, containers. I tried two different trailers. Neither one wanted to uh, load. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to first head over with this as off with a flatbed. We're going to try to strap it to that and see if, if that will work. If not, we will grab the Caleb. And we will grab a probably a large oversize. Uh, we have a couple different options just because we're right next to a trailer store. And uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we're we're, we're we yeah. Um, I didn't know this bridge was out. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I guess we'll uh, backtrack from here. Uh, I saw a little turn off down at the bottom of this hill. So I guess we'll go back to that and then hopefully we'll get over to the uh, the north camp and get this uh, trailer sled thing combination sorted out because uh, yeah needless to say I'm, I'm kind of at a loss of uh, what trailer they want us to use so uh, hopefully this won't take too long to get over there. I'm going to aim for this spot here. I think, yeah, it's it's pretty minimal ice breakage there, so I didn't want to get stuck over there going through 30 or 40 feet of, of broken ice. That would just uh, slow the game down, so. Uh, but I've been thinking uh, about the way I kind of go about playing this game. So please, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, should I be editing more of the boring or repetitive stuff out? Um, and what I mean by that is basically just like this drive over. Uh, I could go ahead and, and edit this out for you guys. Um, I just, I'm not sure what to do, you know? Like, I don't want to spend, you know, eight hours a day editing videos and, you know, nobody really seems to... To mind or care um i don't know it's just it's one of those things that i've been debating about with like i i figured i'd do a little bit more editing as i became more popular if if i did become popular um but i'm kind of at the point now where i'm like maybe i should start you know maybe just doing a little bit of editing doing some cuts um i know some people enjoy Kind of the, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I don't want to call it monotony. Um, I don't think that's the right word. Uh, but the, uh, just the, the nice easy drives in between, uh, places. So like, you know, if I'm, if I'm just driving along Tarmac Road, it's boring. It's, it's, there's nothing much going on. Um, I can cut all that out, uh, but anyways, let me know in the comments. I probably already talked about this way too much. Um, I have a feeling some people are going to be like, well, just do whatever you feel like doing. And I'm like, okay, I just, you know, which, which is fine that, you know, I will <laughs> trust me. I will. Uh, but I don't know. It's just it's one of those things that I think I have to learn as I go versus asking the public. Um, this is all, this is all, you know, part of the, the YouTube experience, so, uh, anyways, let's, uh, ooh, yeah, let's try to winch through here, because this mud is pretty deep. Alright, so, do we have a better route? No, I think we just, I probably picked the worst route to take. I'm not gonna lie. So I suppose we'll just we'll follow this road to the main ice. 
and then we'll uh, pick a new trail. Come on, I know there's some bigger trees around here. Thank you, there we go. Alright, uh... That's a lot of water down there. <laughs> You know what, I think we'll go to the left here, and then we'll, uh... I could've went to the right, I guess. Really doesn't matter. I know this ice down here is pretty brittle, so... That should, uh... Slow us down nice and proper. Let's try to... Let's try to go around all this stuff. Nice that there's uh, plenty of trees to winch onto. Oh, I want that one over there. There, thank you. Try to get this thing back up on dry land. Ooh, ooh, we might be a little too far over. Perfect. This truck is, is pretty capable, so... <laughs> As you guys probably know. Am I, am I tempted to try to get through there? No, not really. I think I want to, uh... Stick to the sides of this. I don't, I don't even want to call it Frozen River. Like, it's, it's just a... The half-frozen river. Get us, get us up there. I don't think I can reach it from here. Nope, not yet. There we go. That should get us close enough. Maybe. Kind of pulling us in the wrong direction. Oh, there we go. Alright, so this is a bad route to take. Uh, avoid this route at all, all costs, because... Frankly, this is taking forever. Even though it's only been seven minutes into this episode. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, so try to avoid that route. Uh, I'm gonna jump across the rocks. Uh, where? Actually, where do we have to go? Shoot, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, cool. We'll, just, we'll, we'll go back left. That's fine. Uh, let's actually cross right about here. And yeah, if anyone's wondering, if I if I seem a little off today. Uh, I did spend the day uh, watching, and I'm, I'm sure most of you guys, if you're if you're into this game, you're probably into vehicles of all sorts of nature. And um, yeah, I spent today watching the last episode of the Grand Tour, and it was sad. It, it's it's that pinnacle moment where you know it's like going through the the motions knowing that Top Gear is pretty much over all over again after uh, Jeremy got fired so um, I don't know you know what it was it was good uh, but I, I I get what they're they're saying basically they, they don't want to review electric cars because that's boring and electric cars are pretty boring and um, yeah they've also done pretty much everything they can with with cars um it's it was 22 years of 
actually technically more than 22 years uh, of reviewing cars and, and dealing with that so I don't know if this flatbed is going to be long enough. Um, so I'm going to put that, that thought on a, on pause for now. We're going to try to uh, get this truck in a... Uh, well, we're going to crash it first of all. We're going to try to get it in a spot where I can load it. Um, so let me switch vehicles here. And then we'll try to grab this uh, cargo and put it on the back of this uh, little trailer. And like I said, if this doesn't work, hopefully we can attach a larger oversized trailer to the uh, Caleb. And unfortunately, we, we, we still have to bring that over. So that should be uh, interesting. Okay, let's pick this up into the air. We'll put it over the center. Oh, oh. Cute, I deployed the, uh... I deployed the anchors without even, uh, trying. Alright. Okay, that should be good there. Oh no! I don't want to drop it. Okay, there goes the anchors in. Oh, this this there's there's too much stuff over here. <laughs> I really gotta I really gotta work on getting this uh oops. Nope. There we go, crane mode, deploy the anchors. Um, now normally... Nope. Oh, that's picking up the vehicle. Oh, I'm making a complete mess out of this. Okay. Okay, if I can just drop this on... Nope. I don't, I don't, I don't know about this one, guys. This is, this is a weird one. Go back into, let's winch this up. The problem is, is I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, like why? Every, every time. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's switch trucks real quick. Let's bring that one forward. Well, that let me... Well, it's not letting me remove cargo. I mean, what are the chances? I can pick it up with this crane. Now normally, I should be able to pack this. And it will not let me do it. All right. All right. That's fine. Let's kick this off. That, uh, that surprisingly worked way too well. And, uh, let's go get the Caleb. We're gonna have to go... We're gonna drive this over and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to get get rid of this task and get it done. Um, so this is the part that I'm talking about. Like we've seen me drive over there a couple times now. So I would edit this out. We would be there, be done in like 30 seconds or whatever. Um, but I guess this gives me enough time to talk about the uh, the grand tour <laughs> and finish that up because now that I've uh, I kind of was talking about it and then had to talk about something else and then now I've forgotten everything that I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, I just want to say, you know what, I enjoyed the show and it's I'm, I'm sad to see it go, but um, I get it. I know it can't go on forever and um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to miss the uh, the specials and whatnot because 
I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I still really enjoyed the eight episodes a year uh, in this in the style of uh, Pop Year, where they actually would review cars and you would get to see what it was like to drive them, even though chances are you, you wouldn't be uh, coming close to uh, being able to afford one to drive them. I should probably mark this so I'm going in the right direction. But uh, I really, I really do miss that format. I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of only doing one special a year, uh, and I think that's probably where it hurts. Uh, but you know, I enjoyed. I, 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 if if I could have it in a perfect world, I'd have the eight or ten shows a week, or uh, eight to ten shows throughout the year, and then have the one or two specials throughout the year. Um. But yeah, you know, it is, it is what it is, and, um, I, I luckily have a Samsung TV, and they have this, this live TV app, so you just basically get channels over the internet, and, uh, one of the, one of the channels you get is the Top Gear channel, and they just play every episode of Top Gear, um, unfortunately, I hope I can get through here. Yeah, this thing's pretty tough. I can get through here. Uh, unfortunately, they don't show any of the Grand Tour, which kind of makes sense. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, they, they show the same... I think it's three seasons, give or take. Um, for like three months straight. So you'll just... you'll you'll If you watch it enough, you, you end up seeing every single season and then it just repeats for a while, so... You, you kind of go through your phases of where you watch a lot of it, and then you kind of have to stop because you've seen them all. Um, ideally, I think it would be nicer if they just played every single episode, uh, but they never stopped playing it. So at the same time, uh, my wife and I were kind of watching the Hell's Kitchen one episode or channel, and that one, eh, it hurts too much because, yeah, you... you 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 would totally lose the seasons because you'd you know you watch three or four episodes of one season and then you'd go to bed and it wouldn't stop playing the season so you'd wake up and it would be you know two seasons down the uh down the road there so um it's it's a nice channel to put on if you're not really paying attention or don't really have anything else to watch but um I do have that ability still to um, to watch every single Grand or uh, not Grand Tour, but uh, Top Gear episode. So, um, but yeah. Anyways, it's just I don't know. I'm kind of in a melon melancholy melancholy mood, something like that. <laughs> Sorry, English isn't my best uh, subject, nor is it my. Um, well, it is my only language, but it's not my best language, so figure that one out for yourselves. Anyways, all right, so we are almost there, I believe. Oh yeah, I haven't um, I haven't had had any feedback about the uh, all in immersive mode versus non immersive mode, so. If you did watch that episode, let me know if you prefer to see the gauges or if you prefer just to have the screen with no HUD. I'm, I'm guessing it's um, it's one of those things where it's it's up to me, <laughs> you know, like nobody nobody really has a preference. So if, if I like it one way or the other, that's the way I'm going to do it. So um, like I said, I enjoy it. I just I wish Oh no, whoops. You know what? That's... I was thinking this was the trailer store. Uh, I just wish you could see your fuel gauge. Um, because that's... that was my biggest... thing I didn't like about it. Is that I actually have to stop the truck, open up the context menu, and then I get to see my gauge. So, it would have been nice if... Oops, if it popped up when you hit your clutch, but... It doesn't, so... Alright, let's see here. 
I'm thinking we need something like... Come on. Is this... Oh, you know what? That's the wrong. That's why. What do you mean? Like, it's... It keeps giving me a warning about space. All right, maybe... I'm starting to think it's this thing. I'm gonna knock this out of here. Because, yeah, we're gonna get rid of that all together. Okay, that one I don't want, so... There's something there blocking it. All right. Well, let's try to turn the truck around and see if that helps. There's definitely something in the way there when it comes to uh, putting on a trailer, so... Let's back this thing up. Say hello to my little chirping friend. And yeah, let's see if we can uh, put a trailer on facing this way. What is going on? I swear this, this game is playing with me. Alright, let's try this trailer, see if it works. Uh, change trucks. Just go ahead and go into train, train mode? Maybe it's because the, that is in the... Uh, the loading spot? There we go. That might have been the reason. All right, so let's uh, let's change the trucks. Uh, let's go into crane mode. Oops. Pick this sucker up. Spin her around. Again with the the camera view, it's not not the greatest. All right, so if this doesn't work, I'm I'm gonna have to throw it out to you guys to see if you know why I can't get this game to work properly. <laughs> Look at it; it's just sliding. All right, let's 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 hope that works here. I change trucks. Pack trucks and trailers. No, it will not let me pack this cargo. All right, I'm at a complete loss, guys. I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do here. It's on a big trailer. It won't let me pack it. It won't let me carry it in. All right, well, you know what? Maybe. Is it strapped down now? Maybe it is. You know what? It is strapped down now. Okay, I don't... I, was I just not paying attention? Did I miss something there? Um, I feel kind of silly. We're gonna have to get a smaller trailer though, because this thing is way too big. And we're gonna have to see... Hopefully this will uh, do the trick. No, this is not letting me... This is not letting me drop it off. 
Uh, I might have to do a little bit of uh, research here and try to figure out what is going on. I'm I'm definitely packed. Now I'm unpacked. Hey, see the little wedges going under the, the trailers. All right, let's let's try to pull it all the way out and then go back in. Do I have to do them both at once? I don't I don't know what the deal is. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna see if I can do a quick Google search. Uh, if you guys know what's going on, please let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll have this sorted out. Maybe I won't. Uh, we'll have to find out shortly. All right. So remember last episode when I was saying, "Hey, it would be really cool if you just had to pull these in because they're on skis." I guess that's what you have to do. <laughs> Um, I did have to Google it, so thanks to uh, Reddit and user uh, Ugrosh. I think that's how you uh, how you would say it. Uh, that's that's what they're they're saying. They had issues with it, and um, yeah. So apparently, you got to bring both of them to this point, and then uh, drag one into the square, and it will take it. So uh, yeah, we did it. We did a lot of extra work for nothing. So. Uh, let's go ahead and I suppose we will drop this one off over here. It didn't really say, it just said one had to be close to it and the other one had to be dragged into it. Um, so yeah, we will, I, I, I suppose we will grab the, um, the Azov, because I think that has chains. Oh crap, that does not have chains. Uh, because where we have to go, we need chains. What is... Let's, uh, let's first of all restore the crane. Let's change the trucks over to the, uh... Not the dairy, it's the Azov, Azov 73. Uh, let's restore this. And yeah, he's saying you just use the winch to uh, pull these trailers. So I'm going to see if I can grab the, the trailer from off this, or I guess container off this trailer. And uh, we'll go from there. Not saying that's how you do it, but you know what? Let's uh, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's go pick up the other container. We gotta go way over here. Um, what are we what are we looking at? Like for fuel? We're gonna need some fuel, so we're gonna steal it from uh, the Caleb. And when I mean steal, I mean steal because, well, that's what uh, that's what we do. Uh, let's refuel. Okay, the Caleb can uh, sit there. It's got 27 gallons, so it should be fine. And uh, yeah, let's kind of work our way through these woods. I probably should have uh, not a route. You know what? Oh, I know that route's a pain in the butt. You know what? Let's try this route. I bet you this will be a pain in the butt too, but we've got the large crane, so we can uh we should be able to do it. We should be fine. 
And yeah, it's, it's weird because I swear I tried craning it, or uh, dragging it with the, the winch, and it didn't work, so... I don't know. Well, let's uh, let's try this and see if the if the worldwide internet is correct. And if they're not, then hopefully you guys can help me out. <clears throat> it's not very often that I have to rely on you guys, but when I do, you usually got come through. So, uh, which means you know what? We're this is going to be Wednesday's episode, so. I am going to have to wait until probably Thursday before I can record Friday's episode. So, yeah, you know what? That's that's okay. We can we can do that. Uh, do I go? Where do I go from here? Yeah, that path is much easier than trying to go around this way. So, there's a there's a good little tip for you guys. Is that the road or is that the road? Nope. Road's one more. And to be fair, where we're going, I, I should probably stop saying that. I feel like I say it way too much. <laughs> uh, but yes, where we're going, we don't need roads. Because there are no roads. And it's not because we fly. Alright, uh, I'm going to randomly guess where the road is. Yep, sure, something, something like that, right? Oh, man. Okay, um, this... <laughs> This trail is not, uh, not going to be fun, is it? Alright, uh, does it make sense? Uh, yeah, I think it does make sense to... To go straight down here and then we'll, you know, we'll, we won't even try the road. We're going to go this route here where it's deep snow and uh, wide open. we go through here? Yes. So maybe we'll be able to uh, follow our, our way out. Using our own trail as a guide. I think this truck shouldn't have a, an issue getting up some of those hills. Oh, some of these rock paths, this truck is very low to the ground compared to the other trucks, so... Hopefully we can get through it all. Um, it's also much longer. But I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue for it. There we go. All right, and this is where we need the chains. Although, as you can see, I am, I am digging it out pretty hard. Thanks to the uh, low slungness of this vehicle. And, and how it's not taking damage, I have no clue.
All right, let's see if we can attach a winch to this trailer. Okay, well, I, uh, I feel dumb. <laughs> I feel dumb. All right, well, you know what? You live and you learn. I, uh, I, I looked, I saw it, I said, you know what, it's on skis, wouldn't that be cool if this is how you did it? And, uh, I guess this is pretty cool because this is how you do it. <laughs> you literally have to drag this thing, which means the other trailer probably has to be on the ground in order for it to, uh, register. It, it would have been nice if they, uh, hinted that. Maybe they did, and I just... I completely missed it, but I I think we're we're on our way. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know how we're getting through here. The amount of times I've bottomed out. I probably should have started counted. I should have started a counter on grind or er, uh, bottoming out. Because I would uh, I would have probably set a record just in this area alone. And I think it only counts when you when you have that when you're driving and you come to a stop or a almost complete stop and then you see dirt fly up. Um, that really wasn't grinding, grounding out. That was me crashing into the wall, so. That's, uh, that's where it would be hot come hard to differentiate between the two, but meh. We could probably just count a little bit of everything and call it good, so. Right, apparently I went around this. Still gonna use my trail through here. I think. You know what? I went that way, but. I think I'm gonna go up through there. As long as we don't have any big boulders, which. Well, we do. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Let's try more to the left. Come on. Yeah, I don't think don't think I'm gonna be able to make it through here. All right, let's skip to morning and uh, see what type of trouble we're in. Yeah, we're we're ooh, we're hung up good. It's like my tire there is just absolutely stuck. Alright, this is where uh, we go into crane mode. Except for the fact that I don't know if we can get down far enough to hit the ground. Mm. Nope. 
think we might we might be able to use this side to kind of push off these rocks. Hopefully it goes out far enough. Ooh. Oh, I want to use it as a battering ram. It's not going to work. Okay, let's restore. I can't believe I'm stuck right now. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try to swing the crane out and, and try to get the vehicle off centered, off balanced, and maybe that will help. Starting to, to move over. There we go. I can't believe that kind of works. All right, well, reattach our winch. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will kind of work its way around. Seriously. go low. Uh, there's nothing to push on. Well, the good news is we can do this. Yep, yep, let's just Freak out the camera. It's fine. There we go. <laughs> well, we move a little bit and then we don't move at all. Get up higher. There we go. Okay, now rotate that way. Why is it going going the wrong way? There we go. Come on. Why are you not going that way? Okay, apparently this crane only does 179 degrees of rotation. There we go. You get the weight. The off shift. And boom. You're uh, you're free to go. Although now we're horribly overweight. Uh, let's just release everything. Let's uh, restore the crane. <laughs> let's try to fix ourselves.
There we go. Can we pull this backwards? Are you saying I'm stuck again? Oh, there's a giant rock we're stuck on. There's nothing to winch onto. Alright, well let's just go down and then we'll... We'll try to go around it. It's actually two large rocks. Okay, now we're back into the groove. And we just gotta go simply through this trail. Should be the easiest thing we've ever done, right? No. No, it's probably not going to be. Chances are, by the time we get back to the, uh, the camp where we have to drop this off, we are, one, gonna be out of time, two, gonna have to figure out how to actually get the, uh, the game to recognize that we've done what we were supposed to do, so uh, let's uh, double check and make sure we're going the right way. And yes, yes we are. I think we can just go straight here. Yeah, that should be the trail there that cuts in between the, uh, the mountains. Yep, there's our tracks. You can just still see them through the snow. And everything seems to be going fine. I this is this is where I get nervous because if everything seems to be going fine, it's usually where something stupid will happen and I will I don't know, end up rolling it or flipping over or exploding into a ball of fire. Yeah, you know, it's all it's all pretty normal for me, so. <laughs> uh, I think that's why you guys enjoy watching this uh this playthrough. Alright, I believe... Yeah, these mud... mud little pits shouldn't be too bad. We are right there. We are almost done. Alright, so good... good news is... At least we've made it this far. Um, so let's... let's hope that all I gotta do is drop this one... trailer in. Maybe I gotta get both of them. Uh, which means I gotta crane that off of the trailer, and then, yeah. Do a whole bunch of things. I am still, I'm still dumbfounded by the fact that you had to pull these in. And I just sat there talking about how, oh hey, how cool would it be that you have to, uh, you have to pull these because they're on skis. Um, do I have to get... Maybe I should have kept pulling. I'm hoping it just disappears. 
Yay! Okay, cool. I I suppose that uh, that worked. So um, let's do a little bit of cleanup before we end the episode because we are uh, we're kind of we kind of have a mess here. Um, so this little trailer here, this little trailer can go to market. Probably should pull forward more. What? Isn't this how I got the trailer here in the first place? No? Okay. Um, so... I guess we'll switch to the Caleb? We will, uh... First of all, unpack. We should be able to return this giant monstrosity of a trailer. Still have not found a good reason to use this trailer, so if, if anyone's looking for one, I do not have a clue. And I do not have one. Because I have not yet to use it myself. Uh, boom, that's now gone. And I suppose we can use... Can I hook this up to this trailer? Wouldn't that be nice? No, start engine. Nope, can't do it. Okay. Alright, let's get this guy. This should this should now work. Cool, we can get this out of the way. Not that we really need the money, but it's nice to have things clean and out of the way, so. Alright, so I want to see what our next task is for the next episode as well. I think we have a couple tasks left. That's that's really it. Uh, what do we got here? Boom. Uh, yeah, yeah, that pretty much takes care of everything. This is... Container from the east. It's still showing up on the map. That's strange. Let me, uh... Jump in the as- I guess the mission's done. I don't know why it's still showing up on the map, so I, I suppose I won't won't worry about that. So let's, uh, let's recover this truck, because I know this one we will probably be using. Uh, let's go to our actual tasks that we have. We have none. Uh, we do have these three here, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do next episode a little bit differently. Oh, it's not even none of them are there, are they? Ford seven fifty, the little con. Those two are just hanging out with each other. Yeah, so let's uh, let's take this out. And we are actually going to attempt to get all three of these. Because uh, those are the last three tasks on this map. And then we can head over to... Whatchamacallit. So, temporary measures, unlucky numbers, and shabby guardhouse. That will be it, so... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please give me some comments and let me know what you liked. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode and bye for now.